Hey there folks, today I am bringing you another PBR battle. Uh, no guest narrator tonight, he is luckily asleep. Uh, thank god. <laughs> um, man, teething is the worst. Uh, so anyway, um, this is a random Wi-Fi battle, somewhat in keeping with the theme of the earlier battle this week, in that it features Uber's Pokemon. So for those of you who did not play PBR, uh, Uber, well, the nice thing about um, PBR was that it had the random Wi-Fi aspect. The awful thing about it was that there were no rules for the random Wi-Fi aspect, except for you weren't allowed to bring event Pokemon. So you could bring your Jirachi, but you could 100% bring your Dialga or Giratina. Um, no Arceus, because Arceus was an event Pokemon, thank god. Um, although Arceus actually wasn't that broken in Gen 4 because you couldn't really EV train it very well. Anyway, so he, so, you know, I, I, I give my Pokemon, uh, my opponent a lot of crap, but really he's just bringing a VGC team. Um, VGC at this point was you could bring up to two Ubers, so he only brought two Ubers, not like he brought a complete team of Ubers. Also, you might notice he really, you know, he uses Road of Time, so obviously he doesn't really know what he's doing. He even used it on the resist, it, on the Pokemon that was going to resist the hit, so clearly he doesn't know what he's doing, but also on his selection screen too, his Pokemon didn't have items. So yeah, Gardevoir goes ahead and goes for Focus Blast. Uh, you might have noticed, I don't know what I'm doing either because I have Curse on my um, my Steelix. And yeah, why would you do Why would you do that? Um, uh, this isn't even back when I was smart enough to be like, oh hey, this, might act, this team might actually work as a Trick Room team. I don't have Trick Room on Gardevoir. So I do take out that Dialga in, uh, on the first turn as um, you know, so Gardevoir does not have telepathy in Gen 4, so it's going to be hit by the Earthquake, but it takes that hit rather well. I'm pretty sure I gave it a considerable amount of bulk. Um, so now he's gone ahead and gone for Shadow Force, so obviously that was targeting uh, Gardevoir. I'm going to want to switch out, no question at all. And so I go out into Lantern, who you know might be able to take the hit. I don't know, he probably isn't EV training very well. So I go now, I'm actually going to do a double switch, going to go out into Rotom. Um, because I think he sent out my low tick, and I was thinking he was just going to scald there. So I go down into Lantern, withdraw Steelix, and go out into Rotom. And not that Rotom's really going to be wanting to take... I, I hope I didn't say scald earlier, because there was no scald in Gen 4. So Giratina goes ahead and uses Shadow Force. Um, I was you know, hoping that didn't over predict there. Yeah, he did hit the Lantern slot, or so the Garden War slot, so Lantern doesn't take that hit quite as well as I would have hoped. Um, Ice Beam uh, targeting the Lantern as well. It's a critical hit, but Lantern tanks that, tanks that quite well, because it is so bulky. Um, sorry folks, if you heard that sound, that, uh, that baby monitor, um, he was stirring. Hopefully he's not going to stir anymore. Well, that was just rustling in his sleep, but now I'm all panicky. So yeah, why I have substitute on my Rotom, what the heck? This is freaking doubles. I, you know, I, again, I didn't know what I was doing back then. So, um, you know, this was, like within a month of me starting my channel. So his Milotic goes for Attract here, and um, my Lantern falls in love. Yes, it does. And um, luckily it hits through the love, hits Milotic, does about three quarters, so that's pretty darn good. That's pretty darn good for a Pokemon in love. Uh, Rotom is behind a sub. I'm going to want to switch out because, you know, the 50% chance of not doing anything is pretty uh, debilitating. I go ahead and go for the Charge Beam, hoping to take out the Milotic on this turn. So withdraw Lantern. So actually, you know, if I were hoping to take it out, then I really actually should have left it in because once the uh, Pokemon that did the Infatuation is gone, then I think the um, Infatuation wears off. So anyway, Shadow Force here is going to just hit the sub. I think, doesn't Shadow Force hit through subs in Gen... No, no, it hits through Protects in, uh, in uh, Gen 6. But no, I don't think it hits through subs. So anyway, yeah, Ice Beam here is going to uh, hit Rotom. Rotom takes that hit okay, because Milotic isn't that powerful of an attacker. Um, yeah, so, and then my, uh, my Charge Beam missed. So I'm going to go ahead and go for Earthquake. Rotom's just going to go for the Shadow Ball against Giratina. I don't think Giratina has any... Um, ghost type moves that are not um you know actually it's, it's health is down pretty low anyway so oh no it's not i'm sorry it's at full health now it's health is down to about 50 percent but i just don't i just don't see it um yeah he vanishes instantly uh, he if he was carrying like the shadow ball the shadow sneak anything like that i think he would have gone for it already um my low take is going to go ahead and recover back up to about three quarters steelix is going to go for earthquake rotom is levitating so uh, the synergy there is quite nice your team avoids the attack whatever um, and, you know, I am doing about 50% to that Milotic, so that's pretty darn good. I think my Steelix is, um, 
either adamant or brave so in running max attack so I go ahead and go over the substitute just to speak so so that uh, the when the shadow force comes it hits that and not anything else so here comes the shadow force and it's just gonna break the sub rather than doing uh, again rather than doing anything a lot more threatening so uh, substitute's gonna fade and I'm gonna go for earthquake with my Steelix as he goes for recover with his Milotic again, brings it back up to uh, really no higher than it was earlier. Going to go for the Earthquake, it's going to bring him down to the same level, and so this, you know, he's going to run out of recoveries before I run out of Earthquake, so he's got to attack at some point, and I don't think he carries a Water-type move, which is strange, you know, because if he did, Steelix would be dead. So I'm going to go ahead and go for the Shadow Ball. I, I see a prime opportunity to take out Giratina at this range of health. So Shadow Ball from Rotom is going to hit, and Giratina is going to go down. And now both of his Uber Pokemon have been taken out, and uh, so that's great. That's great. So VGC... Oh, what were we here with this? So VGC 2011? I, I wish I had an opportunity to... I wish I'd been competitive. Oh, so he has the Hydro Pump. Now he goes for the Hydro Pump. Does not target the Pokemon that actually would have been taken out by it turns and turns ago. Uh, Rotom gets taken out, and whatever. Rotom did its job, took out that Giratina. The, one of the teeny tiniest Pokemon versus one of the largest Pokemon. So Steelix goes for Earthquake here, and is going to take out his Milotic. And now he's down to his very last Pokemon. Not sure what it is. But I'm, you know, considering that the Ubers are gone, I'm not really worried. So, Uber, Nubers, that's what I called them back then, Nubers. Um, Pokemon that probably were not EV trained, um, didn't, opponents did not know what they were doing. So he goes out into Jolteon as his last, and this is good game because Gardevoir has Trace. Gardevoir has Trace, so now uh, Gardevoir has Voltage Run, he cannot hit me with any of his super effective moves, or rather his, his stab moves. He can hit me with any stab move block, excuse me. So double kick ain't gonna do jack. Physical attack against Steelix. No, I'm sorry, it's just nothing. Nothing gonna, gonna do anything. Psychic is going to hit Jolteon and does not quite one-shot it, but does a, a large amount of damage. I go for the Stone Edge just thinking, you know, let's not get residual damage off onto Gardevoir. Not, not residual damage, actual damage onto Gardevoir. And I go ahead and finish the match. So that is good game. Uh, weird random Wi-Fi opponent who did not know what they were doing. So, folks, I hope you enjoyed that PBR battle. It was very indicative of what random Wi-Fi was like on PBR. Comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge so long.